Okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about front-loaded squat variations. In the fitness industry, the back squat often gets all the praise and all the spotlight, and the front-loaded squats are a really great addition to your training. So I wanna take you through my three favorite front-loaded squat variations. So first up, we've got a goblet squat. You might be doing goblet squats in your workout anyway. Goblet squats are great, really nice place to learn how to load up from the front of the body. I really love goblet squats, both to learn the pattern of movement, but they're a staple that stay throughout people's training all the way through to the advanced stages. Okay, so with a goblet squat after a while, you'll get support, you can't load it any further, so that then comes up to, the, brings you up to the front squat. Front squat is all about mastering the front rack, and that is basically how to position this barbell on the collarbone so it sits perfectly, so when you're in your squat pattern, the bar doesn't feel like it's moving. So for this, it does take a little bit of time to practice one. Get the hands in the bar, I like to keep the fingers loose, then really focus on getting the collarbone bar sitting right up on that collarbone, elbows high under the bar. The more you can shrug and bring those arms forward, the more the bar can sit really tight to the throat and in that kind of groove the collarbone, the better. It is one of the more uncomfortable positions for a bar to sit in. So from here, we get set, get your feet directly underneath the bar, stand tall to clear the rack. And then from there, it's really about keeping those elbows nice and high, shrug the shoulders up. And then from there, you can break into your position Keeping a nice upright torso throughout the squat pattern. Really great way to progressively load the front of the body in a squat. Okay, and the third and final front loaded squat variation is my favorite, is a Zercher squat. So this is effectively a low bar front squat position. So from here you get the bar sat into the crease of the elbow. Keep the elbows about rib cage width apart. And then from there, arms up and break into that squat. You wanna make sure Elbows go on the inside of your knees. Now I really like this variation because obviously you get to train through the upper body at the same time. So it becomes a really, really good one for anyone moving more in towards athletic training. Uh, but again, one of those front loaded variations that is a great one to add to the repertoire. I don't see it done enough in the gym these days.